Welcome to a new episode of the Siren Video Byte. In this byte, we will focus on how Siren can be used in combination with Chainalysis to investigate suspicious transactions between James Smith and a network of international entities. By tracing connections across the social media, the dark web and multiple sources, we will uh, uncover what appears to be an illegal weapon dealing. And then, using Chainalysis integrated into Siren, we will investigate how funds are flowing through the blockchain to finance these illicit activities. Let's dive in! I will start uh, my investigation from the search app, searching for uh, James Smith. And as you can see on the left, we have uh, quite a lot of sources, so I'm going just to filter on the transactions. And then using the faceting, uh, I'm going to reduce the number of transactions by filtering on the high transaction with a high anomaly score. And I find uh, a suspicious transaction from James Smith to a certain uh, Russian uh, federation in Russia. So I'm going to copy my selection in my investigation collection. And I'm going to open uh, this uh, in a graph. Now that I have the transaction in uh, the link analysis tool, I can explore uh, the entities related to it. So I'm going to expand by relation and see that there is a counterparty, an account, and a company uh, related to the counterparty. But also I see that James Meet uh, has a lot of other connections. So most of uh, them are uh, transactions, but there's also another entity in the system named James Meet. And James Smith is also related to another entity, which is an OSINT uh, person. And now I can use the OSINT search capability of Siren to find for more uh, information in the social media. So I'm going to search for uh, some alias of uh, James Smith in uh, on all the social media platform. And I see that there are five results. This one is from Flickr, uh, one from Guy Online, one from Geocaching, and an interesting result from the Gun Broker platform that I'm going to add uh, here to my graph. So now I'm going just to rearrange the graph for better visibility. I see that the results contain 12 more elements, so I'm going to expand what I just found. Uh, and I see that there are um, two uh, results coming from uh, the dark web. So one is a transactions and the other is probably an announce uh, in uh, the gun broker platform. Both of them contain uh, a crypto address so now I can use uh, uh, the integration with Chainalysis uh, by querying the crypto world. So I'm going to deselect everything and I'm going to select the Bitcoin uh, from the set. So let's search. And I see that I have a result from uh, Chainalysis on Bittrex.com, Bitcoin uh, address. And uh, uh, I'm going just to um, rearrange the graph here as well, real quick. But before, I'm going to search as well for uh, this other address. So I'm actually loading the cluster for the address I just found. And I found two clusters of transactions related to the crypto uh, address that I found in the transaction in from coming from the dark web. I'm just going to rearrange the graph real quick. Now I can do uh, the same operation for uh, the announce on the grand broker platform. So once again, I'm going here to delete what I don't want and I'm going to deselect everything but not uh, the crypto. And let's search again for uh, the Bitcoin asset related to this uh, crypto address. 
and add it to uh, my graph. Now I can do uh, what I did before. So basically I'm querying, I will query uh, chain analysis to load uh, uh, the, um, let me just real quick rearrange the graph, here we go. Now I can do the same operation I did before. So query uh, chain analysis. And I see that there are uh, two cluster related as well to uh, this dark web result. And now I'm going to clean a little bit the graph because we have too many clusters. And uh, this step is very important because now what I want to do is I want to use uh, the siren shortest path to see if there is any point of connection between these two clusters that are coming from transactions related to the dark web. So I'm going to set uh, many more steps because the blockchain can be very, very long. And here we are. So thanks to the chain analysis integration into Siren and using the shortest path, I see that these two clusters are connected. And what you see here uh, in uh, the uh, orange uh, icon are actually the blockchain steps, the transactions between the account that were found in the dark web uh, connected to the James Meet account. So now that I found that there was actually a connection, I can uh, query chain analysis for more data and I want to load now the exposures, which basically are more events uh, related to um, to the transactions that we see on the screen. And also I want to load more uh, transactions from the counterparties now. So now that I loaded, uh, and I'm still loading all these transactions uh, from the counterparties and uh, the exposures, there are too many records. I cannot uh, really add all of them to the graph. So I'm going to, as you can see, there are over than a over, over than a thousand. So I'm going to use uh, uh, the siren search for the next step. So I'm back uh, in the siren search. I'm going to reset all the filters real quick. And uh, the select all the table because we won't just focus on the chain analysis counterparties and we see that there are um, 11 results related to the darknet market so immediately using the siren search i can filter down from thousands of results to the one i'm really looking for i'm going to add uh, it to my uh, investigation and quickly pivot back uh, to the graph Now that I added my uh, black market record uh, in the graph, I can uh, um, expand uh, the cluster that is involved. And uh, once I loaded the data from the cluster, um, I could expand uh, it on the graph, but once again, it would clutter um, the graph. So instead I'm going to load the addresses and once the addresses uh, will be loaded into the system I can uh, uh, as you can see we have more than 200 addresses so I'm not going to add them to the graph but I'm going to open the overview and Siren gives you the possibility of having a very um, very clean and polished template where I can see all the transactions related uh, to this Bitcoin address uh, the receiving, the sending, the direct. And uh, now that I uh, loaded all the transaction, I can see if there is any observation coming from this cluster. So observation in chain analysis are additional uh, information about some, potentially some of the transaction. And here we find uh, two observations that are actually geolocated. So I can now switch uh, to the map mode. 
and I can see that one of the transactions uh, was originated in Canada and the other one in uh, Moldova, close to the Ukraine border. And uh, once again, I remind you that these were related to the um, social media platform that uh, is used for uh, gun smuggling. Now that I concluded my investigation and I have uh, uh, all the record and the connections I need uh, on the graph, I can use the Siren AI Assistant uh, to automatically generate a report. The report uh, will contain uh, all uh, uh, the records and steps that I did in my analysis. And uh, once that I have it and I'm happy with it, I can uh, download it uh, in Word or PDF uh, so that I can edit it and share it uh, with my colleague. So in today's bite, we showed how Siren can be integrated with Chainalysis uh, to perform a full investigation starting from an urban transaction and moving to the crypto world. I hope you guys like the content, hit the bell, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next bite.